Now then guys, what's going on? This is Yorkie here and welcome back to another video on the channel. I hope I find you all well today, this weekend, and we are going to be talking about the RTG save today. We're going to be going through the teams uh, that I've selected. The vote will go up as this video goes up and you guys will be able to go on the community posts and choose which team you want us to pick. I'm going to go from four teams. Uh, I think four is a good point. Now we did do a vote recently where to start the rtg and i have been ill recently but while i've been ill i've been keeping an eye on it and it has flipped and flopped between championship and league two at 43 and 42 percent uh either way consistently i think at the moment it might be 43 percent championship and 42 percent league two um so i had to sit down and make a decision and i've been thinking about it and what we should do and talking to people as well as help i think people want to see a traditional rtg they want to see me start at a lower level considering it's the first rtg that we will have ever done on the channel it will be the first time that we start uh, as low as this i think we will stick to the traditional so i am i've had to make the decision right because of how close the voting is and i've chosen league two we're going to start in league two i think it makes the most sense again it's the long-term save of this fifa i think going from league two to the prem is going to be very difficult if i'm being 100 honest and then trying to win the prem in the champions league so it is the one that i plan to last for as long as it lasts we've never done a series like that i'm don't know if they work i don't know how many views it'll get if it will contain could be inconsistent sorry with the views or not who knows who knows this is new to me we're not used to doing these saves so the championship is not off the table forever will we do a championship save uh, on this year's game i'm not sure but if we're being honest i didn't anticipate that we would be sat here what five months into the game and have the amount of career modes that we've already done you've got the Tottenham one which we didn't finish but we would have done fortunately daniel levy sacked me uh you've got the leicester save you've got the barca save the rb saves not that far off being finished even though it's only one season uh, we've got the newcastle save so i mean we've managed to fly through a lot of career modes this year so i'm not going to say never if we get the rtg done in a decent amount of time the championship could be the final save uh this year's game i've got all the team recommendations for the championship and they will be potentially going into rebuilds because i do like doing the one-off videos and let's be honest they do very well on the channel they probably do better than anything else on the channel uh, is the the one-off videos the rebuilds and stuff like that so i, I still want to be dipping my toe into that in fact i want to get to a point where we probably only have one career mode running which might be the rtg and then one or two videos a week that are separate I, I i'd love to get there but we're trying to find our balance here uh, of what we want to do right anyway that's all just rambling on we picked league two and the easiest way for me to do it basically is i loaded up the league two uh, league table and went right what teams do i like here what teams stick out so the first team was extremely easy to pick i looked at the table and i just chose the team that was last now i know oldham have had their issues a lot of issues especially in the boardroom uh their financial object is actually going to be pretty harsh to start it off they're probably going to be roughly around a million i imagine all these clubs will be similar and no matter what all these clubs are probably going to be a similar level of difficulty because most of the teams in league two in terms of fifa uh, they're very similar so we've gone with oldham purely because they're the bottom they've got a few games in hand but they are the bottom of the league and i thought that was the easiest way to pick one of the teams next team i've chosen is harrogate it's close to me for one so that was always going to make them an option they've got the yorkshire rose in the badge perfect you know perfect for me them having the yorkshire rose in the badge they're also relatively new to the league so i mean that makes them uh, a fun team to do and their history in terms of top league football as far as i'm aware isn't isn't very good so we can kind of pave our way and create a history here at harrogate i think harrogate is it would be a really fun save so i've added them to the list of teams as well and objectively they don't really want us to do anything do they at the moment so apart from some youth development which we will be dipping our toe a lot more into youth development in this kind of say next team i've chosen is salford just because i think their story is actually really good i've watched the tv series i think it's a fantastic series as well if you haven't watched it go and watch it cheeky plug for them but uh salford city just piled their way up the leagues and then have hit league two and hit a roadblock they're not having a great season at the moment i think they're currently sat ninth and um, they've had a bit of a manager merry-go-round they clearly need someone to come in to take them to that next level now we might have one of the better squads if we're salford but there are teams in this league that two star 
Salford are not one of those teams, so I don't think it necessarily means that we'll have a ridiculous squad. I also wanted to make sure that transfer budget wasn't re you know, ridiculous if we were Salford, but it's not. So Salford is going to be one of the options as well. The last option here is going to be Sutton. Although they're actually doing really well in the league this season, that isn't going to show that in FIFA. Uh, they're probably the weakest squad and the weakest budget along with Harrogate of this um, and they don't have much in the way of objectives I think Sutton could be really good fun it's their first year in the league so that instantly made me think that they would be a good choice and really I don't have much of an affinity to any of these teams at this level so trying to find a narrative of why we should choose them you know people have recommended Sutton a lot as well it was always going to be th the two teams that I knew would always be in it were going to be bottom of the league and then the team that had just been promoted into the league and that probably would have gone for any of the leagues that we chose whether that had been league two league one or the championship I, I was probably always going to do that because this these are the harder saves now this will still be ridiculously um hard because you're talking about turning over a really poor rated squad and although i think no matter who we get we probably will get promoted for a season just because of the way fifa is we are then going to really struggle in League One, where there are some very big teams that have fallen, and then again in the Championship. So I'm excited. I'm really excited for it. But RB might be coming to an end very soon. I needed to get this out so that you guys could start choosing, so I could get the thumbnail done and everything, because as soon as RB's done, I plan to go full drive into the RTG. That is the plan. So we need to get uh, the RB series done depending if there will be another season or not but regardless there's only really two weeks left of that save even if there is another season it's realistically only two weeks so if there's only two weeks left of that we need to start getting moving with this start the planning get myself in position for the first episode get the thumbnail done uh, so on and so forth so i'm going to give you guys plenty of time to vote on the team that's why i've left it this long you're probably going to have uh, a week to vote so if you're seeing this video five days in and you're like oh i didn't get a fucking vote well you will do because i'm going to leave it there for about a week before we make our choice and then i will make a video uh, on the choice that you guys have chosen i'm looking forward to it i hope you guys are happy with the choice and the decision to start in league two uh, i think for our first ever road to glory it makes sense starting right at the bottom and to be honest with you, the voting was so close at the time of this video going out it might have swung back league two's way it, it was genuinely that close if i'd have stopped the vote yesterday it would have been league two first thing this morning championship so it, you know what i mean like it's just one of them it was super close but anyway i appreciate all the votes anyway you're all absolute bloody legends if you want to leave ideas down below in this of players that we potentially could sign no matter what team we picked we're gonna need players from from the start off but if we're being honest with the small budgets we're gonna have we're probably just gonna pay for scouts and stuff in the early seasons but i am gonna need players that we can pick up on the cheap and snipe away from some of the better teams uh, that will grow really well and help us get through those leagues because my knowledge of fifa uh, and lower league players is very very slim that's gonna be it for me short and sweet hopefully once i've edited this it does say actually 12 minutes i didn't expect this to be that long hopefully the version you're watching is not 12 minutes again if you're new around there and you just stumbled upon this video and can't wait for the series make sure to smash that subscribe button and ding dong the bell so that you will be notified uh, when the series goes live as well as smashing the like button lads appreciate you all i hope you all have a good weekend and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the comments section of the rtg